Hey everyone, I'm Dennis from Canon USA social media team and today I'm out on the north coast of Long Island, New York with the new Canon PowerShot G5X Mark II. This camera is a great, lightweight, everyday carry camera that complements my main EOS R or 5D Mark IV bodies perfectly. So this camera packs a ton of new hardware and features in it to make it worthy of an everyday carry for me. The first thing I noticed and appreciate is that it now shares the same EOS style menus that I've been used to. It makes it so much easier to switch to my G5X Mark II from my other EOS cameras. So I'm finding the lens to be a really comfortable range for everyday walking around, about the view of a 24mm to 120mm lens in my full frame cameras. Yes, it is a variable aperture lens, but it has a fast f1.8 at the wide end and an f2.8 at the telephoto end. I can still get a great portrait around 100mm with plenty of background blur. So speaking of portraits, I love shooting spontaneous portraits in AV mode. It just gives me the flexibility to get creative. On the G5X Mark II, I appreciate the placement and ergonomics of the exposure compensation wheel. I don't even need to take my eye off the screen or viewfinder to adjust for my scene. What's more, I can remap exposure compensation to the back dial to mimic what I'm used to on my EOS cameras really easily. That brings me to the pop-up electronic viewfinder, or EVF, that the camera has built in. It's been great, especially on a sunny day like today, when it's hard to see the LCD screen. That has also been great when I shoot macro because I can zoom in up to 10 times in the EVF to make sure I'm sharp. While using the EVF, the G5X Mark II takes advantage of touch and drag AF, which I use in my EOS R. This feature makes changing autofocus points and tracking subjects easier and faster. It was an easy transition for me because I use it on my EOS R. For those who are left eye dominant, setting the active touch area to the top right helps a lot. There are so many more features that I didn't get into, but these were just a few that I definitely want to highlight in the new G5X Mark II. Click over here to check out my next video where I'll take you with me as I explore the coastline more and take some great pics along the way. See you in the next one.